Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader at thetechtrader.com. It's uh, October the 24th, and these are the charts of the day. Well, folks, we are at decision time for the market, it appears. So look, if you look at the longer term pattern going back on the uh, NASDAQ 100, for example, it's been a rising channel. And right now, it, uh, since the low in, let's call it just after mid September, and the big run up we had from uh, 5840 all the way up to 61. 25 or so, a big move. We come down and bounce, we come down and bounce. Now, either this is a big wedge and then we're going up for another leg, or it's a topping pattern. I think we'll know a lot more in the coming days if the market takes down the 6055 area and then 6038440. Once we get to this line, which is also the mid channel line that I've joined across here, once we take that out, if we take that out, then we're headed down to the bottom of that channel, which could be down to 594050. So the possibilities are is that we have 100, 150 points down if we break support. The S&P, long run up, you can see the rising channel. Since August, when, when the S&P was trading at 24, 16, 17, we went all the way up to 25, 80, 160 some odd points, that's a big move for the S&P. Right now, it looks like after the recent run up and breakout, the breakaway gap and the gap fill, we bounced. Either. This is a falling wedge, and it's going to hold around there and explode. If this breaks down from here, heads down to 25, 48, 40, and even 30 are thereabout, which is a likely Fibonacci retracement zone. If that doesn't occur, and it forages to the upside, uh, moves forward and gets take out 25, 80 or so, in that area, we should very well head to cross 2,600. But for now, let's take a look at the uh, charts of the day. Many stocks still moving. A few look like they're ready to move, and I'm going to show you a few of them. C-Bay and Old Swing of ours is acting well, um, as you can see from the breakout of the base here, and the pullback, and the breakout there, and may or so, the stock's been moving up steadily, and from the wedge. Um, it has a mid-channel line in here now, that shows that the bottom portion of the channel uh, was holding, so it was a 50-day moving average. Uh, the recent pullback here was taken out today, it appears anyway, uh, as the volume thrusted to 1.3 million, the stock popped 85 cents or almost 11 percent. It looks to me like if it takes out the recent highs up, and we'll watch this one tomorrow, 920, looking for 10, 11 and 3 quarters, even as high as 13 or 14 over the next few weeks. CNCE broke out of a basing pattern today, which has taken several months to develop. It may very well make a run at the uh, $19 range that re it reached in March. Today's high of 1845 got close before it pulled back a point. Still, net net up $1.66 or 10.5%. With five days to cover, I'm a believer that unless biotechs completely fall apart, this one looks like it's ready to roll to higher levels. Targets 21 and 25 going forward. As I said, five days to cover. CONN, this retail has been phenomenal since the March low when it was trading under eight. It's now fourfold, so just since March. And in the last few weeks, it's gone from double to about from 16 to 32. 32 is the high today, close 31.30. Uh, 445 or 16.6% on 2.3, 2.4 million. That's the biggest volume since back in April, May, when it was running there. So I'm thinking this may be accelerating through the top of the channel and ready to make a move on that level, which is low 40s. Long way to go, maybe some resistance there. So my two targets for now, 35 and 41, 42. There's almost 10 days to cover. I think the shorts are on a squeeze here. Cool. Well, I think it's consolidated long enough. The story's strong. The stock has had a big move tenfold from 3 to 33, but at this point it's formed a two-month-long falling flag type pattern or, or falling wedge. I'm not sure if this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but this is just um, a 1, 2 in the 5th and we get a 3, 4, and 5, get this in the 50s and 60s. At some point it might do that. There's 3.6 days to cover. It's pretty thin. Today was a 140,000 share trade, and it was the biggest volume in three or four weeks, so that'll give you an idea. It's thin, but it can fly. Something to consider, but be careful, because it's so thin, that if it gets under 22 and three quarters, it could fall back into the high teens. General Motors, well, hard to believe I'm even talking about this, but when you look at the pattern that it came out of, this basing pattern, and the thrust it's had since its recent reports, big volume on the upside, it starts to move from uh, 34 and a half all the way up to today's high of 46 and three quarters. And um, at this point, although I'm not advocating a swing on it, 
and he pulled back consolidation to 42, two and a half range, it might be an entry opportunity for a move to the 58, 60 area eventually. LITE, Lamentum, very strong channel, very strong pattern. Broke out of a base today, it took a couple months to develop. Fine picked up the 3.7 million, they're one of the biggest we've seen in about eight, nine weeks. Uh, there is resistance just overhead in about the 65 range, if we get through that, 68.9. And then we're on our way back to the For now, we shall see what we get. <coughs> NPTN um, is an anomaly in, this, in, the, uh, in that group, that, uh, in the semiconductor group. But you can see, and the big downtrend has taken this from 18 and a half all the way down to four and a half. A big, big drop for semiconductor stock, no question. But things might have turned a corner. You can see the stock's now been up eight days in a row. And in particular, today accelerating 59 cents or 10 and a half percent. 7.3 days to cover. There's resistance in this zone at about the six and a half, seven zone. Watch for that because if it gets to that, you're looking at an eight and a half, nine dollar stock potentially. So it's something to be watched, particularly with that short position. Our old friend and swing trade Nutanix, acting great. Looking at the chart today, most importantly, looks to me like the stock came out through a double top after pulling back uh, a few days ago. That consolidation above that key level is leading it to break out today. And with volume of 5.6 million and five days to cover, it feels like 30, 31, maybe 33, 34 are coming soon. Overstock. Well, I still believe this is probably a Bitcoin play. At least that's what I'm hearing. I'm not sure exactly why I haven't read the fundamentals, but I can tell you technically, once you broke this base and formed that flag and exploded from the wedge, it continues to stair step up. Looking at a longer term chart, going way back, you can see some key resistance not far from where we are. If we can get to that, looking at a $48 stock, maybe as high as low to mid 50s. If this gets crazy like a VERI, it could really take off. Don't be surprised to see 45, 50 short term. 6.2 days to cover, the squeeze is on. Well, PII had an exceptional day, breaking out of a base uh, um, a month ago and forming a beautiful wedge today. It exploded for 16.26 or 15%. There's still 16 and a half days to cover. Wow, this thing could be 135 in a flash. Stay tuned. Well, I, I found this chart today and, I, and I'm showing you why I like this chart. First of all, a long downtrend in the last couple of years has taken us from 20 down to two and a half. Finally, a little left shoulder, head, right shoulder, inverse head and shoulders, and a declining top line. Both were taken out there, retested and wedged. Today, spiking 7.3%. It's a low price stock to begin with, but if it gets to four and three quarters, it may be five and a half and six and a half near term. There's still eight days to cover short. This one intrigues me. I may put a swing on it. SRAX, well, one of those little players that gets a lot of volume and a lot of momentum. The wedge is formed. If it pops, seven and nine are targets. I, I'm, I'm serious. Keep an eye on this. Taylor Brands, break out of the base, wedged and exploded today. Now the, we have gap resistance to test, maybe as early as tomorrow, a little over 17. That's going to be my target for tomorrow. The swing is upwards of 19, 19 and a half. 8.7 days to cover. Well, how about VISI, which, you know, they never traded anywhere near this kind of volume today. Not only breaking away with a gap, but then exploding a massive 61% with 11 days to cover. Then if there's any follow through at all, we can see four and a quarter, four and three quarters. Those are my short term targets. If it gets beyond that, who knows where this can go. And finally, XNET, which exploded out of the wedge here near the 50 and then popped back for a day, exploded again in reverse. And now it's coming on again. There's my stop at around 6, 6.15, and your, your $7.5 target, uh, if taken out, might lead to something around 8 and 3 quarters. So my targets going forwards are 7.5 to 8 and 3 quarters. 8, 8 and 3 quarters, something like that. And very small short position, so I'm not sure what's behind this run, but I don't care. Good night, folks. That's it for tonight.